ladies and gentlemen, India has warned Nepal against making unjustified and catastrophic false assertions on Indian territory. Now, you don't have to be an expert in foreign affairs to see the clear China hand in this provocation. China is using Nepal, no doubt about it. Let's debate. On the 8th of May, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh along with CDS General Bipin Rawat and Army Chief General Naravne inaugurated the much-awaited Link Pass to Mansarovar Yatra via the Lipu Lake Pass. And Nepal is now protesting this move by wrongly claiming the regions of Lipu Lake, Kalapani and Limpi Yadura in its own map. China, that is using its strong arm tactics at the line of actual control, seems to be egging on India's old friend, Nepal. And falling into this Chinese trap is Bollywood actor Manisha Koirala. Having worked on the Indian soil for her entire life, the 90s actor wants a three-party dialogue. Here's what she tweeted. Thank you for keeping the dignity of our small nation. We are looking forward for a peaceful and respectful dialogue between all three great nations now. And playing into China's hands is also the Vajra Congress. They're blaming the Indian government for China's dirty politics. Cornered on the global platform over COVID investigation, it seems China wants to get back at India by using its neighbours. Shouldn't those living and earning in India take a stand for India's sovereignty at this time? Let's debate. Ladies and gentlemen, on this debate, I am joined by Menendra Rijal, member of the House of Representatives of Nepal's Parliament, former Minister of Information and Technology in Nepal. Mr. Menendra Rijal, thank you for joining me. We are also joined sure. by Subhash Ghimire, he is Editor-in-Chief of the Republica Daily from Kathmandu. And Prakash Rimal, Editor of the Himalayan Times, also from Kathmandu. Thank you very much, Prakash ji, Subhash for joining me. On the Indian side, we have Sushant Sareen, General G.D. Bakshi. Sushant Sareen is Senior Fellow at the Observer Research Foundation. General G.D. Bakshi is a well-known strategic affairs writer and uh, editor of the Indian Military Review. And uh, Syed Zafar Islam, spokesperson of the BJP. Thank you, gentlemen. I would like to start by asking you, Mr. Rijal. Yes. That you must understand and I don't want to be giving gratuitous advice to you. Maybe General Bakshi can debate this with you better. But China is nobody's friend. China is alone in the world now. In the world community, China is alone. You are also very aware that this sudden interest in Indian territory, it's laughable. Uh, you are, of course, uh, an important nation. but. If you think you're squaring off with India on border issues, you should be dreaming. It's never going to happen. Uh, we're not going to talk to you about it. But I only wanted to start by telling you this, that the Lipu Lake Pass in Kalapani, which is an Indian territory, is a very important vantage point for India to keep an eye on Chinese movements. So strategically, Mr. strategically we keep an eye on Chinese Are you movements me a question for a long time. Yeah, let me complete my question, sir. My question is, Okay. China, I believe that you are just being egged on by China. China is using you because Lipu Lake Pass in Kalapani is an important strategic point for India to keep an eye on Chinese movements, right, for a long time, for more than 40, 50 years, right? Uh, you must not compromise the India-Nepal friendship just to give China a small strategic advantage. Also, personally, I am of the view that it makes Ch Nepal look like a... Uh, what do you call a rentier state of China. You need not take Chinese foreign policy as your own interests and you should not aggravate the situation with India. Now, you are free to make your point. Yes, go ahead, sir. First of all, I mean, the way you're saying me, it sounds like you're giving me a statement, giving me a message. That's, that's certainly not the, not the style how television interviews are done in Nepal. First of all, I mean, if you ask me where Nepal stands, what are the facts, how we think this should be resolved, and then I'll be able to answer that question. I very strongly t uh, would like to put this fact that this, the, the border issue is an outstanding issue. India is committed to resolve this through bilateral means, diplomatic means. This is precisely what uh, your government has said. I mean, when we sent a note that the uh, 
foreign secretaries of both sides to do a uh, whole meeting, whole consultation. The uh, um, uh, letter that we received was once two nations and two societies uh, uh, are done dealing with uh, uh, the uh, challenges of the COVID-19 crisis, and then two countries can sit down. We have said, I mean, this can be done even earlier. So uh, I would not like to incite this further, but the thing is, we have said very clearly that we would like to uh, present all the evidences that are there, and then the government of India can also produce its evidences. No. Both sides can sit no, down no. and talk, sir, and then we, this could be resolved. You know, that Here, way, that way, China that way with... Doing, uh, what China with, is not doing, and uh, what I should do, and what I yeah. should not do. This is not what you should be saying. You Min, Min, be Mr. Opinion. Rijal... You may disagree with me. Mr. That's Rijal, let me tell thing. you what is offensive. I am, I am being very subtle and very polite. On the other hand, may I tell you no, what you is... Are may no, I, you are not. May I, may I tell you what is offensive? I'll give you an example. And I don't know how interviews are done in Nepal, but I know how they are done in India. This is how we do it. Your country's prime okay, minister but, but, has I mean, said. No, First of all, I mean, let, let me make it very clear that if we are not, if we do not respect as people of two different nations, if we do not respect each other as individuals who have their views, so the, and the comment from the then we probably would not have a very nice conversation. But the, we have the, to be very the, clear on that. Yeah, but the problem is that your prime so minister when you said say you should your, do it, your, you should do this. I'm, I'm, okay, so that, I'll get you into the debate you, with General Bakshi. Me. I'll get you into the debate with General Bakshi. But I'll tell you this. Of course. That your country's Prime Minister said that the coronavirus strain coming from India is more lethal than the coronavirus strain coming from China. Can you explain this? What kind of a comment is that? First, I mean, look. look Why did he say that? Look, I will... Can, can I answer the, your question? Yeah, sure. First of all, uh, the government, the Prime Minister and we, there are issues that we, we, uh, we differ. We are in the opposition, he is in the government, there might be issues the way I mean, this is presented, there, there, there could be differences. But the thing is, on, on the border issue, we are together. On the border issue, we will no, we no, fully no, support the position Prime Minister okay. has taken. No. How he presents it is, is his style. I, uh, sorry, different but, leaders but in the world... I, feel, I, feel, I was just very intrigued. I, cannot, uh, I, I was just very intrigued that... And now I hand over to G.D. Bakshi and Sushant and others who want to debate with you. I was just very intrigued. But, what but, is I mean, the what is the polite, epidemiological yeah, or he, scientific he, basis? Mr. You see, Arna, 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 Mr. Arna, Mr. Arna, Mr. Arna, Mr. Rijal, Mr. Mr. Rijal, can I make one point and I'm I'm going to listen to you? But I want to know how did how did the Nepalese Prime Minister say that the China coronavirus strain is good, but the India coronavirus strain is bad? I mean, it's it's crazy. I I am not an expert in Corona. I cannot answer your question. I it's a pattern, approve, I see. I, mean, I approve of Prime Minister... Hang on, hang on. I approve Prime Minister's position on the border issue. I approve... Uh, no, but, we but, uh, no, have but full support for what... What's what, happened? What and why are you, why why are you bent on spoiling the relationship? That's none of my business. So why are you... My, my, I, I, all Indians are asking you, we else. like Nepal, we've had good relations with Nepal, Narendra Modi went to Nepal. What has come over Nepal? You suddenly want to fight well, with India? Well, I mean, I don't know what's going on. Do, okay, I mean, very, okay. Very, let 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 very, let let JD Bakshi respond to you, sir. Now, please. Okay, but, but let, let me uh, let me let me make one point. You. Please, I mean, let's respect each other. Yeah. We are kind of people from of two different nations. There are these. The, the border issue is an outstanding issue. I should not be telling what you should be doing. You cannot be telling me what I should be doing. No, you you do what is in your best interest, but think of the long term consequences. Yes, of course. Yes, General Bakshi. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I would like to state to my Nepalese friends, as the Indian Army sees it, we have the rishta of roti beti with the people of Nepal, right? Very few, no other country we have this. I would go a step further. I would say that we have the rishta of blood, kud. Gurkha soldiers, Gurkha boys in our Gurkha regiments, have fought in each and every one of the wars that we fought with Pakistan, with China. They have shed blood for our country. We, especially in the Indian Army and the Indian nation, will never forget this. Please understand this. Please understand this. I think we yes. did a... Let me well, speak thank, to you thank, very, thank you very saying, frankly. Thank you. I am telling you very, very frankly, 
in our Congress era, we Indians have scored a self goal by helping the Maoists come to power in Kathmandu. Look what they have done to you and what they have done to our relations, right? Relations which were so deep, so fraternal. Nobody needs a passport from uh, Nepal to come to India and vice versa, right? Does it happen with every country? We have a fraternal, deep relation. At one time, you were the only Hindu country in the world. You are one of the bastions of our culture. We, there is, you know, we are astounded. We have been taken aback that you are siding with China. And I will give you the reason for it, please. Let me be frank and talk as friends. Uh, can, can, and talk can frankly I, can to I, one can another. Can I respond to that? Can I just finish? Yeah, General, can, can I, just I respond finish? to that? No, no, I'll, yeah. no, no, I'll just yeah, finish. Yeah. Then I would love to hear you. I would love to hear you. I yeah, would okay. give you okay, hear then. you with the fullest yeah. respect. I am saying, I am saying, a month plus back, there was a political crisis in Nepal. We do apologies because of the corruption of the present government. A lot of your legislators were upset and the government almost fell. You remember that? That was the time. Let me be blunt and straightforward. The Chinese came to the rescue of the present establishment. They rescued you. Well, they paid a lot of people. They paid a look. Let's let's talk honestly because friends can be very straightforward. They paid the present government and they are now under duress to raise the border issue. You think we are going to fight with you? It is beneath the Indian Army. And the Indian Army is not interested in fighting with you, especially when the the point, the road which you are talking of, as it is, is west of the river. Of the Kali River, Mahakali yeah, River. Can, can I now, the only can question I, can is... Can I respond to that? Okay. Please, please, please. Can I respond to that? First, I mean, I agree with you, Nepal and India have a special relationship. I do not agree that uh, uh, China has to do anything with what happens here. I do not agree Come that on, you... Uh, so I mean, you, this probably, you, you can say, uh, for the public, cons public consumption in India. I can understand that. But the thing is... Can I India, give you an evidence India, of that? India has its own can position. I, I Nepal has evidence? its own position. Uh, eminent, group, eminent persons group has identified this point as, as, as outstanding border... border no, no, it's point. not. No, no. No. Which eminent persons result, group, sir? Both sides have agreed which eminent persons group, sir? One result, second. Which, which eminent persons and, group, and I may ask Nepal you? Nepal has not taken any... Which eminent no, no, persons no. group? I mean, you are you're stopping me only. I mean, I mean, if you do not let me speak, sir, at I'm, all, known, then, I mean, to, I'm known to I'm known to ask counter questions, to Mister. I don't understand why. Uh, Am I? No, 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 no. Uh, do I have let, to be subservient first, to you? Let me first respond to. Uh, do I have to be subservient person. to you? I, 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 if you do not, no, please, please, uh, Arnab, if you do not let me respond to Mister. Baxi, then I mean. There is absolutely no point of having me on the television. No, no, but I, am I, mean, I not allowed to say, counter I mean, you on anything? Not, let, let me respond to that. Then why, why do you have me on the television? C can, can I? Can I respond to Mr. Bucks's uh, point of view? Mm -hmm. Can I or not? No, go on, but okay. you know, I, 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 I also have a right to respond to you if you're factually incorrect. That's all I'm saying. Of course, I mean, you, you, you made a lot of points. I have not been able to respond to you also. You've said no, Nepal you has taken that's unilateral not my action. No, Nepal has not taken unilateral action. Mr. Bakshi said, Prime Minister has taken certain positions. I mean, I cannot defend how he is running the government. No, no, I am opposition. There are certain things on tell which me one only thing. people from his party... Tell, tell me one thing. I, I have a, now I want to counter you, sir. Sir, now I want to counter you, sir. Do I have the permission to counter you? You made your point. I want to counter you and there are other panelists. Sushant also wants to counter you. Explain to me one thing. Sir, I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Rajal. I show no disrespect. But, yes. but I am not a believer in diplomatic extrasensory perception. I am not a believer in geostrategic telepathy. And I'll tell you why. I will prove to you on my program that you are acting as Chinese puppets. Don't mind the straightforward language I use. I'll tell you why. Because what you are saying, your eminent persons group and all date, is something that China announced on the 9th of August 2017. What are you saying, sir? On the, can China, I, how did I, I China read your mind and allow me to give you the example of this? No, no, let, me really this. let me elucidate this. Let me elucidate this, sir. So with the respect to you, I want to elucidate no, 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 no. it. I want I to elucidate it. I want to elucidate it. I want to elaborate on it. I want to explain to you. I want to explain to you. I want to, I want to explain to you, not with the intention to corner you, sir. I need to explain to you. 
I need no, to explain no, to you no, one no, statement. No, one statement, Mr. Rijal. One statement, sir. One statement, sir. One statement. Wang Wenli. Wang Wenli is a Chinese official. In 2017, India and China were locked in eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball situation in Doklam. Okay, in Sikkim. China eventually retreated because there was such massive mobilization on the Indian side. They realized. Now, let me tell you. Let, listen China, to the full story. Listen to yes, this. No, Mr. Renji, please listen. There. Let me complete. I request you to let me complete. I'll take 10 more seconds. At that time, you know what the Chinese said? The Chinese said the following. What will, you, what will New Delhi do? We have been defeated in Doklam, okay. But what will you do if we enter through the Kalapani region of Nepal? You go and check. How did the Chinese say no, that no, in 2017? No, no, just making it I up. am not making it up, sir. You are astonishingly no, no. unaware on this. This is a comment made by no, Wang no, Wenli, you're not, you're not Deputy then Director General I, of the Boundary and Ocean Affairs, no, no, I mean, if, if, speaking in response look, I mean, I, you, to External Affairs Minister then this Sushma Swaraj. Not how it's done. Sir, I, I very strongly resent it. I, you're making your point of view. I am asking you, I am only asking you, sir, how did the Chinese read I'm your mind? Asking or are you making a statement? How, how did the Chinese you're, read your mind? Question. Not, asking, not statement. statement. Question. How did you're the Chinese read your mind? You're Question. Asking. No statement. How did the Chinese read your mind? You're making a statement. I am asking a question. You're not how did the Chinese raise the Kalapani issue three years back? First of all, I mean, you have to understand. Our two governments, government of Nepal and government of ne uh, India, at the secretary level have agreed that uh, this, no this, uh, this is an outstanding issue. We have agreed that I mean we will attend Sir, to I... it. And government of India has said that after the, uh, two countries are uh, done dealing with the uh, corona crisis, sir, uh, two uh, we're not going to secretary level this. meeting can be held. No, and sir. Both, uh, China, government of India Sushant. has said that I mean, we are ready and willing to. No, look we're at not going to talk. And we are okay, ready so and I... to. Uh, uh, okay, okay, Mr. Rijal, Sushant Sarin wants to respond he's, to you. He's Sushant Sarin, Sushant Sarin, please. So look, I think what Mr. Rajal is saying, uh, I completely disagree. Number one, uh, he keeps talking about respect. Uh, what is the kind of respect his prime minister is showing to India? Forget, forget this business. And if these guys feel so strongly and they think because Nepal has such a strong scientific base that they figured out that the coronavirus which is coming from India and India has spread the coronavirus in Nepal, then they should block the borders. They should they should stop all contact with us, for all I care. Yeah, you stop know, all the contact. The kind of language the Prime Minister uses, he uses the Ashoka emblem of ours and he takes a dig at us. Is this what uh, good friends are supposed to do? And it's very clear, look, in Nepal, there have been always two strands of opinion. There are people like this clown Oli who think that they will be able to validate their rule by abusing India, by seem to be standing up to India. What side deals they want to cut for themselves and for their cronies is another matter. But they want to show to their people and mislead their people that they are standing up to India, that India is the big ogre. Do these guys have the guts to say something similar about China when the Chinese finger them? Now suddenly, and, and, and Arnab, let me tell you this, for Nepal, this has been an old kind of attack. Under King Mahindra, what they used to do is that they used to play the fiddle with the Pakistanis because they thought that the Pakistanis will be able to, in a sense, defend them. The Pakistanis will be a foil for them uh, as, as a counterbalancing force. After 1971, they suddenly smelled the coffee that this won't happen anymore. So then they again backed off. They have tried to do it with Nepal in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, you know, uh, when they started getting into a defense relationship with the Chinese. This is what they did at that point of time. Again, they backed off from that. Now, suddenly they see China as this big counterpoint to India and they think that they can press India. They think that they can finger India. And that is what they've been trying to do. So this Kalapani thing, every time the government gets into a bit of a, tang a tangle, they start raising this Kalapani like issue. Now, this issue is not a new one. Prakash it's been a Subhash. very old, outstanding issue. Prakash or Subhash. Is what they have done Mr. recently, Rijal. is this the way to do it? Uh, and if this is the can language I now, they are going to use, uh, I'd, like, I'd like Prakash uh, or, or uh, uh, Subhash to respond to that. Prakash. Ramal, editor of Himalayan Times, and Subhash Gimire, editor in chief of Republica Daily. I, I want to tell you, Mr. Rijal, Mr. Rijal, Mr. Rijal, let me tell you one thing. Can I say one thing to you? Can I, can I, sir, sir, please. Sir, sir. You have to give me 30 seconds to respond. But there are three panelists who have not spoken. 
Mr. Rijal, you are being asked, extremely unfair. I, if you ask me to defend everything the way government runs here, I'm, I'm not the right person. But you what language does your Prime Minister of, you know, use? political party of the government, but I mean, on this issue, on the border issue, we are united with the Prime Minister, but there are many other issues we differ with the Prime Minister. But on border issue, we are together. So I mean, there are certain issues that you've raised that does not deal okay, with... Okay, we have Syed Zafar Islam responding from the Indian side. He's a spokesperson of the BJP. Mr. Syed Zafar Islam, along with Subhash or Prakash Rimal. I want to tell you one thing, Mr. Mahendra Rajal. I have great affection. We have great affection for the people of Nepal. I personally, I do. I have had the great opportunity to report in your country at a tumultuous time, post the uh, unfortunate events which happened in the then royal family. Mr. Rajal, are you hearing me? You know, so we've seen the, the violence then on the streets of Kathmandu. We've seen the, what, is, what I saw then was that anyway, anytime there's trouble in Nepal, there are motivated people who try to create, Mr. Rajal, please, there are people, motivated people who try to use, distract attention. I'm saying this to you, Mr. Rajal, as a well-wisher. There are motivated people in your country, Chinese lobbies, who, are, who try to use, whenever there's an internal problem, try and, try and direct, the, direct, direct the anger towards India. We need to have a long-term relationship, a fruitful relationship. And I, have the, I, we, I am very happy to inform you that even during the 1962 war with China, Sir, I want to tell you this. Even during the 1962 war with China, we deployed Indo-Tibetan border police personnel, our paramilitary personnel at Kalapani at an observation post. So history, please, you can't change. Syed wants to make a point to the two journalists in Nepal, sir. Listen to this. Sir, 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 let the others come in. Mr. Rijal, let's be fair. Mr. Rijal, Mr. Rijal, let others come in. You have spoken enough. Mr. Rijal, please. I cannot defend my time. Mr. Rijal, please. On the border issue, I can't. Mr. Rijal, let's get Prakash and Subhash Gimire also on the debate. First of all, I would like to say to all the friends from Nepal, all three friends of Nepal, that we do not really appreciate the statement made by your Prime Minister. This was totally uncalled for because the kind of statement is definitely not suit, uh, does not suit to a Prime Minister. And this kind of statement should have not been spoken because we enjoy a very good, very good relationship with Nepal. We really respect our friendship and certainly we were not expecting this kind of statement from the Prime Minister of Nepal. Having said that, okay. Let, so, let me also make point, it absolutely clear. Our when, position is absolutely clear. Allow me to complete and then you can speak. Our position is absolutely clear. There is no dispute here that, that our, this is our uh, uh, territory and we need not even want to discuss or engage you on this particular issue. That is something which has already been clarified to you time and again and this has been also clarified today by the Ministry of uh, spokesperson of Ministry of External Affairs. This is not an issue, and you, if you want to raise it at the behest of someone else, so let, let it is totally uncalled for. And I want to tell you that we enjoy a good relationship, you are a good neighbor, let's stay a good neighbor, do not raise the issue which is totally you will not get any engagement from, the, uh, from our country, and you are raising the issue which will not get any endorsement from your own, uh, many of your own countrymen. So please do not do something in haste at the behest of some other country who has to serve their own interests, and at the cost of your our relationship with you or your relationship with our country, a good relation with which which you enjoy for ages. And I also Subhash who wants to must, come in. As, 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 Subhash. Subhash. As a yeah. opposition Subhash. leader, that you must come Subhash, with the Rijal yeah. communicate Subhash your prime yeah. Subhash has, that India as, has as, as one journalist to another and also as one Indian to a Nepali citizen. I am a citizen of India and you are a citizen of Nepal. I just want to share one thing with you. One point I want to make you make to you today. You see, our yeah. view is that you should not fall for the China trap because our view is that you can't trust the Chinese. See, globally, see any African country which has done business with China has regretted it. The South Americans regret it. The, a relationship with the Chinese never ends well and never doesn't last. You know that China just last week on their China Global Television Network, you know what they said? They said that Mount Everest is located entirely in China-occupied Tibet. Despite an agreement in 1960 saying it is Mount Everest is coming under Nepal territory. You know, I'm just sharing this with you because, because you know well enough that nobody can trust the Chinese. They are nobody's friends. Yes, please. You wanted to make a point. So this all started uh, in November 2019 when uh, India issued a, a new map. Uh, so, you know, Nepal has been claiming uh, Kalapani and Limpiyatura uh, for, for the ages. 
And if you go back to the history and look at the map uh, from uh, 1827 to 1860, 70, you know, th so th it's pretty clear. So I think the facts are there. The, 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 the important part right now is, you know, for two countries to sit down and, and resolve this issue. So we won't sit with you on this. What Nepalese feel... We will not discuss our territory so with you. Tomorrow you can like say that Indian Mumbai is Nepal territory. Tomorrow you'll say Delhi is Nepal's territory. We won't discuss with you. I mean, a point is that they, why there's nothing to discuss, we won't discuss. So, pointless, no? So I, You'll only so end I up think, upsetting so the I Indians. Think, I think uh, the, the Indian media is going crazy with the China factor, but the fact on the ground is that, you know, Kalapani has been established sure. without doubt that it's Nepal territory. So when Good the for Indian you. Came in 1962, then, then tell me left. one thing. Tell so me one thing. Uh, tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Uh, who hacked 200 Nepalese websites? You know what the Chinese did? They hate the Nepalese. They used Huawei to hack all your website. They hacked your government websites. You forgot that? So I, uh, they so hacked I, all I, government I think, websites. I'd like. Think, okay, uh, let's get let's get Prakash Rimal on it. Prakash. Prakash, who hacked all government well, websites? I just want to respond very quickly to that. No, I'm saying they are not your friends. They are not your friends. They have we, encroached if, Nepalese if we, land in Sankhu, Sankhu Wasaba, Rasuwa, Humla, in the guise of road projects, they have taken your land. They, when you arrested 122 if, if Chinese China for criminal China activities, China including China banking China frauds, China they, they China issued China travel China documents China to you, they forced China Nepal to letting them off. This country. This country, uh, uh, Prakash ji, can never be Nepal's friend. What are you doing? Why are you spoiling a okay. long-standing good relationship with India, with India? What are you gaining? I want to understand. What are you gaining? Okay. No, number one, Arnav ji, thank you for having me on this show. My pleasure. You know, it's, um, we also want, and we have had very long, long historical cultural you know um, civilizational relationship with india for since ages okay it's not that nepal wants a bad relationship you know or nepal wants a better relationship uh, with uh, china at the cost of uh, india it's not at all that let let us not mix a, let's let's not um, um let's not mix up everything you know lumping you know uh, uh, the issue at the moment is uh, over a dispute, I mean, uh, until not long ago, India said, you know, it's a disputed territory between uh, Nepal and India. No, it's not. And then it took When have we said that? Uh, uh, when have we said that? Unilateral decision. There have been plenty of times we've approached to try to bring these border issues on the table, but, you know, because Nepal was so persistent on these border issues, you know, even the bilateral mechanisms that we have set up, they have virtually stopped working. Sir, I'm, so, I'm only asking you, uh, sir, and then, please and then, understand, and then, Chinese, you know, you know, Chinese have I been think, making think, claims that Mount Everest is part of China and not Nepal. The Chinese are trying to leverage control over Nepal and the Nepalese are trying to fend them off by taking a more hardline anti-India position. They are playing you, sir. Sushant, they are putting yes, pressure on if Nepal a, if, if and Nepal is trying to make them happy by taking this sir, position on Kalapani. Eventually, how will this end? No. Sushant, you must tell our Nepalese friends, eventually, no. how will it end for no. Nepal? Look, no, it, it, no, no. it clearly it won't end well. So, so uh, and to, we've seen this. You, you know, you're you talking have... about what has happened in Africa. You're talking... Let's talk about the debt trap diplomacy. All these nice, fancy, white elephant projects which the Chinese are, uh, you know, uh, promising to Nepal. I mean, who's going to pay for it? Let's not Does the Nepalese economy together. have the wherewithal to pay sir. for uh, those billions of dollars which the Chinese are promising to invest over I mean, there? There's are, no way they can pay for it. Uh, and, and none of it is coming gratis. Okay, Prakash is responding. Prakash ji, yes, please. Prakash ji. Sushant, Prakash Rimal wants to counter you. Has been part of Nepal, uh, our friend from Nepal wants to counter you. Let, let, let him, let him. The let him. Chinese will say, just like they've done in the South China okay. Sea. Let, let him, let him counter you. Actually, Mount Everest was always a part of Nepal. Yeah, how they, uh, how part they, of China. 
Prakash ji, yes. How the Chinese, how the Chinese, Prakash and Jiri Bakshi, yeah. Some convoluted logic that they want to continue to, you know, take hot shots at India. Prakash ji, go on. Because it gives them some kind of legitimacy in their own country. But then, you know, it's disturbing because you have the other, you know, panelists speaking from that end. You know, let's not learn things together. We, you know, like we appreciate, you know, that uh, the general narrative in India is that Nepal is now acting at the behest of China, so which a is global an insult. Narrative. It's a global narrative. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a global, maybe it's a global narrative, but it's a narrative being manufactured in India. Why are you doing India. that? You are too great a nation no. to be a Chinese pawn. Please, please, please let me, you know, sir, please let me complete my sentence, okay? I'm also a journalist. So, you know, if you ask a question, you should allow me also the time to respond to it. Right? See, if you say Nepal is acting in the interest of China, that's an insult. That's an oh, insult it's a reality, on, sir. on people, on the conscience of people like me. And there are, sir, mind I, you, but close then, to 30 but then, million ki, Nepalese ki, with conscience. Ki, 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 kindly tell me, Prakash ji, answer the question that I asked our friend, uh, you know, uh, Mahen, Mahen, Minendra Rijal at the start. What the position you are taking mm -hmm. is the known Chinese position enunciated by the Chinese government in 2017 as a threat to India during the Doklam crisis. They said we will use Kalapani. I was only want, very interested to know how did the Chinese read your mind three years back? See, you are not doing this independently, is well known. Okay, uh, Subhash, Subhash, tell me. Subhash, tell me. Subhash, tell me. Don't take offense. Subhash, tell me. I'm hearing. Subhash, Subhash, tell me. Subhash, tell me. Subhash, tell me. Yeah. Okay, first of all, so Arnav, I don't know, first of all, where you got that fact that, you know, Chinese I have got this fact, I'm quoting, I will, I will India. send you details after the program. I will send you details after the program so, of the Chinese official who said that. I'm hearing this, so I'm, I'm hearing for the first time, but the fact is, I think we are diverting from the main issue. The main issue is that two countries contend this piece of land that has to be resolved. I think that we are missing, sir, the, missing that. You know, sir, the Chinese want to... Sir, that cannot Nepal be resolved that if, at the instigation if, if, if of the Chinese. If we say that everything that Nepal Look, does is because of China, be then we are missing the whole point at here. at the instigation of the Chinese. Can I just answer you? Look, my friend, we are well aware of the political developments in Nepal in the recent months. We are not blind. The whole world is watching that. The whole world saw how there was a government almost being brought down by the legislators because of the corrupt practices of the present regime, right? The people of Nepal were fed Mr. up. Rijan. They wanted him out. Uh, uh, he saved I... his skin by going to the Chinese. The Chinese purchased. Sir, this... Uh, uh, sir, this... I'm just uh, saying... Jiri Bakshi. Jiri, Jiri, Jiri. Jiri, I, I bring, I bring Minendra Rajal into Minendra the debate. Time. I bring Minendra Rijal into the debate. Let me tell you, Mr. Rijal, Mr. Rijal, you are a good opposition yes, leader in the Nepalese House of Representatives of their Anna, federal I parliament. Can also, can you are a member of the House of Representatives of Nepal's federal parliament. We respect you, but it is my responsibility to share something very important with you. If you don't mind, I will take 30 yes, no, no, seconds okay, to can, share can it I with you. Something? I will just 30 seconds, sir. Please okay. don't mind. I'm sharing this with you. Okay, I will wait. Sir, this is, sir let wait. me tell you what your government is doing, which is wrong. And I'll take yeah. 30 seconds, sir. Sir, you are trying to keep the Chinese happy by attacking India on issues like Kalapani because of two reasons. One, you can use this as a rationale to argue with the Chinese on their stake in Everest, on which the Chinese are also building a Huawei 5G tower. A. B. You are hoping that this will save your economy that will be badly hit after COVID because you have a landlocked country. You are trying to increase the use of Chinese ports to export your goods to the rest of the world while reducing your dependence on India. My own view is, if I can summarize, this is a very short term perspective. The Chinese know that your economy is going to come under pressure after COVID. They are putting pressure on you. They are compromising your sovereignty. I would only request you, sir, as as will I'm sure the representative of the BJP, don't fall for this trap. Now, now can, can I say something? Please. First, yeah, and I let's will first respect that we are people please. from two different nations. Okay, it's, a, it's my turn to say. Two we are people from nations. two different nations. We have our own perspective. You have, you have your perspective. 
We know this is, the, 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 this is an outstanding issue. Governments of two countries can sit down and resolve it. This can be resolved between, between two countries, diplomatically, just, Nepal and just, India have been very good please. friends. But as far as Nepal is concerned, our relationship with China is Mr. concerned, Mr. we decide stop, who our friends are. You don't decide here. us, stop decide who our friends are, who our foes are. India, India is very important to us. China also is a very important country. We know the importance Mr. of Mr. our relationship with India. We know the importance of our relationship with China. So you do not decide who to be friends with You can't play both ways. You can't play both ways. Mr. Rajal, let me tell you, you said this issue can be discussed between the two countries. Let me tell you, you are a friendly country, but still, I must make it absolutely clear that we cannot engage you on this issue. This is a border issue for maybe for you, for us, it's a settled issue, it's not an issue at all. The, our stand is absolutely loud and that's clear. That's your point this of view. Our stated position in front of the, no, that's not our point of view. That's, a, that's our country has made it absolutely clear to the uh, Nepali leadership time and again. If you want to do it just to please yeah, some other country, I, it is not good for our relationship. Must respect I request our my. We enjoy a good. I request my. I. I in fact. I in fact. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing, sir. Let me tell you, Mr. Rijal. I. I. I completely endorse what uh, Zafar Islam has said. I'll give 10 seconds to G.D. Bakshi. He's very very senior man. He knows Nepal well. But very briefly, sir, you want to say something to our friends from Nepal? Yes. Uh, you know, we will always treat Nepal as a younger brother, as a blood relation. But I will not say that for the Chinese. We fought a war with that country. That country has been breathing down our neck. Yes. And I'm very sorry. Any, any collusion with that country will not go down well with the people of India. Thank you very much, everyone. I, I, I think we should keep the conversation going. I have enjoyed the conversation with our friends from Nepal, including, I must say, the very feisty member of the House of Representatives. Mr. Rijal, I will get you on more debates. To Subhash Gimire and Prakash Rimal, who are leading journalists in Nepal, I thank you very much. Please remember, sir, we are friends. We are brothers. The Chinese can never be your friends. Leave alone, be your brothers. I thank you very much for joining you on this debate, for joining me on this debate. Thank you.